Today on the show, we have Premis Montero. His company is called Green Energy Solar, and they are a solar company that sells and installs solar panels in the state of Florida to help people save money and help the environment a little bit in the same time. So thanks for being on the show today, Premis. Thank you very much, and thank you for having me here. I appreciate it. Definitely. So we were just talking about a pivotal moment in your life. I think a pivotal moment in my life that pertains to my career choices and what I ended up doing is my decision to move to the States. I have to go with that. I went to a private school in my home country, the Dominican Republic. I never planned on coming to the United States. But once I graduated, I went to college and I got a bachelor's in business. I just remember feeling that after reading magazines and watching TV and learning so much about the country, about the States now, I just wanted an opportunity to live the American dream. And so I had a pretty good life. I come from a middle-class family, but I decided to leave everything behind, sell my car and move to the States by myself. And it was difficult in the beginning, but things worked out well. And now I'm here. So that was a big move to come here. And then when did you start your business? How did that journey look? Well, it was many years later, but long story short, I was working as a sales rep for a company called Momentum Solar. They're one of the largest companies in the United States for solar panels. They're in about 13 states, just a massive company. And I would go out and sell for them, obviously. And I did that for a while and I became really good at it. I didn't, I was actually pretty horrible the first two months, but I, but I became really good with training. And by the end of the year, I was the top guy in the state of Florida. And I was a top 10 representative in the whole country. And they have more than 300 people at that time. They had more than 300 people in 11 states. So I was a top 10 as a sales rep. So I just decided to learn more about the business. I realized that electric bills are going way up every time, every single year inflation kicks in and people complain. I, I, I used to hear that from customers. And I decided to become independent. And again, it's always about following that American dream. And I felt it was the next step. Yeah. Following that American dream, would you say the American dream is still alive and well? I would say absolutely yes. I know things are rough right now. Inflation is out of control. But with my perspective of somebody that came from outside, but that has always been very familiar with American culture at the same time, I think this is the greatest country in the world. There's so many opportunities. And I know a lot of people sometimes don't see it that way. But really, there is opportunity for everybody. It doesn't matter if you're Hispanic, white, black, gay, it really doesn't matter. If you focus and you work hard, if you have discipline, if you know what your goals are, you can do anything in this country. What would your advice be to somebody who wanted to start a business? I think my main advice would be first, you have to have a vision or a clear goal. If you don't have a vision and you don't have a goal, then you don't know where you're going. And you're like a ship with no compass. So that's the first thing. Once you know what you want, then you can start making decision, decisions in your life in terms of, okay, what gets me closer to my goal? What moves me further away from my goal? From my goal? So you start cutting things that move you away and you start adding things that will get you close. Really, the things that you'll be bringing into your life, it really depends on your goal. If you want to be an athlete, you have to go to the gym. You have to be up early in the morning. You have to train really hard. If you want to sell, maybe you need to buy some books. Maybe you need to take some classes. It all just depends on what you want to do. But having that goal will give you most of the answers. So that's what I mean by that. The second thing I would say is you need to work really hard because you can have goals, but if you if you don't work hard, no, nobody's going to do it for you. So those are the two main, main advices that I would give people. I guess I'll add a third thing that I feel relates to the conversation we've been having so far. Just don't listen to the naysayers. Don't listen to the media. I think there is a culture. It's like a subculture in, in America where there's a lot of people that complain a lot about, you know, their situation. And I don't think that's right. If you focus and you have one of these things that horses use, like they cover their eyesight, they can't, they can't see sideways. You can achieve anything you want, especially in this country. Yeah. Those are some great tips for our listeners. Remember those three guys and girls. <laughs> so the solar sector, have you been seeing it continue to grow through this recession or is it retracting a little bit? 
I would say it's continuing to grow because what has ended up happening is that because of the increase in the price of oil and many other economical difficulties that the whole world is experiencing, prices have skyrocketed and skyrocketed. When I say prices, I mean all price. Uh, it doesn't matter if you go to McDonald's, it's more expensive. Restaurants are more expensive. Utilities have become more expensive. Here in the state of Florida, in the last two years, electricity bills have increased 30% at least, depending on your utility company. So based on that increase, a lot of people are turning into are turning into solar or even taking second looks. I run into a lot of customers that talk to me and they tell me that they were considering it two years ago and they didn't do it. But now they have a bill and all of a sudden it's $300 and it used to be $190. So they complain, they come to us and uh, we help us, we help them fix that problem. Are you dealing mainly in residential? Yes, mainly. We also do commercial, but most of our sales, I'd say 90% are residential, actually. There's just more homes and businesses. So what is the monetary like value proposition? Like, How long does it take to recoup the investment in the solar panels and things like that? Yeah, it really depends on the plan that you choose to purchase it. We are very flexible. We have leasing options. We have purchasing options. But what I can tell you for sure, regardless of which way you would like to do it, you would be saving, our customers save over a span of 20 years because I like to make a comparison based on a big chunk of people's lives. So over 20, 25 years, we're talking about tens of thousands of dollars. Recouping your investment, again, it depends on the type of purchase plan that you get, to be honest with you. So if I give you one answer, it might be misleading. Are you doing roofing panels? We do the five by six solar panels that you see most of the time when you drive around in the state of Florida, at least. Yeah. So in the roof. Correct. Yes. You, we also do ground panels, which means we have the ability to set them on the ground, but you need to have a property, at least five acres. So again, 99% of our customers have the roof solar panels. So you said you went on on your own and you used to be within a company. So did you take manufacturing in house? How, did, how exactly did that switch up? Go. Yeah, some of the work we subcontract, some of the work we do ourselves. Solar is a massive business. Some companies dedicate themselves to produce the panels. Some companies dedicate themselves to distribute the panels. The reason for this is because the market for solar is extremely big. Every single home is basically a potential client. So there's so much market space that nobody can really handle everything. Another type of company, all they do is install. Other companies generate leads, reach out to customers and sell. So we are in the installation and the selling business of solar. Very cool. Yeah. Yeah. I love the solar industry. We need to go into more clean power options and this is a big move in that direction. Yeah. The world is shifting towards that direction. It seems like, again, speaking of culture, culturally, the last three years, everything has become very, a lot of sustainability talk solar energy, global warming. So these are trends that have been coming up lately and they really benefit the solar industry. People are really consider considering it very strongly because mostly they want to save money. Yeah, it's nice when you're in an industry that's getting a natural lift and you're saving people money so it's easy. The sales process is somewhat convincing. <laughs> Absolutely. Get it and I'll save you some money. Yeah. <laughs> So if our listeners wanted to reach out to you for an installation or to learn more, how could they do so? They can reach out to our office. Our number is 772-209-0602. We also have a website, www.greenenergysolar.net. We offer free consultations. That means you reach out to us. We send one of our agents to talk to you or you talk to us on the phone. We basically make a solar design for free. We tell you how much money you're going to save, what the price is, how many panels, where they would go, everything. We give you all the data that you need. And in the end, you make the decision if you want to move forward or not. But that's basically the way we work. So, you know, anybody that's thinking about going solar, feel free to reach out and we'll take good care of you. Well, thank you, Premis, for being on the show. And thank you, everybody, for listening to another episode of Failing to Success. I'm your host, Chad Kalecki with Cosmic Design Development. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.